My dear students, welcome to week uh, eight that extends from the 21st of April to the 25th of April. We're going to start this week with an explicit where you're going to set goals, prioritize tasks, manage them effectively to achieve personal and academic success. Our word wall is going to include set goals, prioritize tasks, manage time, achieve personal academic success and explicit. You're going to watch a video about setting goals and then you're going to work in groups and choose a topic to research about and make a clear plan to follow. Now, in this activity, I would like you to plan. Uh, it's very important for me to see that you have planned. Uh, who are your team members? What is the topic chosen? A mind map of what you will include in your research, tasks for each member, clear steps in the format of points to complete your research, you can do this either on a Word document or on a poster. You're going to watch another video about setting goals, prioritizing tasks, and managing time effectively to achieve personal and academic success. You will have an interactive activity related to that, further practice, and for the challenging question, how can we effectively balance the needs of the human development and economic growth with the imperative to conserve biodiversity and protect ecosystem health for further generations, a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to write, start writing your research. Remember that you need to pick the research, one of the topics, I gave you 10 uh, for a differentiation. You can choose any of these topics to start your research. For uh, lesson two, you're going to start your research. You're going to formulate your research questions related to human interaction with the ecosystem. And you're going to start drafting your research. Our word wall is going to include ecosystem, biodiversity, conservation, deforestation, pollution, habitat, sustainability, climate change. The first video you're going to watch is how to develop a strong research question. You will have an interactive activity related to that. And you're going to watch a video about how to write a research paper, another interactive rela activity related to that, further practice. Then you're going to write the features of an interesting research question, a self-assessment. Now you're going to evaluate your resources that you use. Are they primary or secondary? For lesson three, you're going to analyze and evaluate information to make well-reasoned just judgments and decisions. Our word wall is going to include analysis, evaluation, critical thinking, reasoning, judgment, decision making, logical, rational, evidence, argument, conclusion, inference, synthesis, perspective, and bias. You want to watch a video about how to evaluate a source, uh, a source's reasoning and evidence. You will have an interactive activity related to that. Then you're going to watch a video about scavenger hunt. In this video, um, in this video, you're going to learn how to do a scavenger hunt. You're going to search for the following, a book about ecosystem, a newspaper or magazine article discussing pollution, a printed map of Jordan, a website containing reliable information on planet Earth, a video tutorial uh, explaining reduce, reuse, recycle, and a social media post sharing information about an environmental initiative. You're going to write that on a poster or on a Word document with the names of your group. Then you will have a further practice for the challenging question, how can individuals discern between reliable and unreliable sources of information in an era of abundant digital content? And what strategies can be employed to ensure that the information you access is, uh, you access is accurate, credible, and unbiased? You will have a self-assessment and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to evaluate if the sources you found are primary or secondary after watching the video below. For lesson four, you're going to read and annotate poetry. Our word wall is going to include poetry, literary devices, sound devices, figurative language, theme, and rhyme. You're going to watch a video about nature as uh, is what we see, and you will have an interactive activity related to this poem. You're going to watch another video about the sparrow. And individually, you're going to write a poem about nature. You can write about earth, any animal of your choice, plants, planet itself, uh, or even pollution. Um, you're going to click on the picture to give you tips on writing a poem. 
For further practice, you have a link. In one your opinion, why why did Emily Dickinson write Nature is what we see? Write the answer in your notebook. This is going to be going to be your challenging question. A self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to compare and contrast between the sparrow and nature as we see it, poems using Venn diagram. Lesson five is going to be very interesting. It's going to be about media analysis, ego tracking. You're going to look at each image and determine who or what it portrays. You're going to note elements in each image that you find interesting and want to revisit. You're going to connect details in the images to other media you've experienced, text you've read, or images you've viewed. And you're going to respond by completing the comprehension check. Our word wall is going to include monochrome, vintage point, documentary photography. We're going to watch a video about bold eagles, rehabilitation and tracking. You're going to take effective notes. You're going to have an interactive activity and you're going to watch another video that talks about phones by Pond, uh, filmed by Nature Conservancy from an air cam. And then you're going to present and discuss. You're going to choose a photo and a caption that you found most interesting or formative. Share your, share your choice with your group and discuss why you chose it. Explain what you noticed in the photo and caption, what questions it's, uh, uh, it raised for you, and what conclusions you, re you uh, reached about it. How does eco tracking at Fallen's Pond, Fallen's by Pond, contribute to your understanding of how human treat humans treat the environment? You're going to write your answers in two paragraphs and present them in front of your class. A further practice, a reflection or a self assessment. And for the challenging question, I would like you to research and write a, so, a short research paper on one of the following to topics eagle restoration and tracking programs in other states, uh, restoration and tracking programs for endangered species, the origin and history of the Endangered Species Act. Uh, in your paper, you need to highlight the relationship between the topic you chose to research and the photo gallery eagle tracking at Fallen's, Bar, uh, Fallen's by Pond. For what to do tomorrow, I would like you to gather pictures of bold eagles and make your own photo gallery. Can't wait to start this uh, week with you guys. All the love and respect.